The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, You shall not commit adultery. But I say to you, Everyone who looks at a woman with lust has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than to have your whole body thrown into Gehenna. And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than to have your whole body go into Gehenna. It was also said, whoever divorces his wife must give her a bill of divorce. But I say to you, whoever divorces his wife unless the marriage is unlawful causes her to commit adultery. And whoever marries a divorced woman commits adultery. The Gospel of the Lord. So this uh, passage is from Matthew's Gospel. It's part of the uh, the Beatitudes uh, passage. It comes uh, uh, after that. But Jesus always starts by saying, you have heard what was said, but I say to you. He's telling people that, you know, you've learned this, you've heard this, this is what you think the law is, but I say to you to think about it in a different way. I say to you, go to a higher level in what the law says, and it's all rooted in the love of God. You know, I think those are important words for us to remember today as we hear this gospel. You know, we live in a world that's oftentimes telling us how we should live, how we should treat others. We live in a world that is oftentimes divided and separated uh, by, by culture, by race, by religion. Lots of separation, lots of division, and we learn that. We learn that that's just the way of the world, and that's the way the world says that things should go. But yet in our hearts, Jesus says to us something very different. If we take time, as we, we heard in that first reading, sometimes it's just sitting in the silence of God, sitting in the midst of, of our own reflective hearts that we hear that deeper call to how we're supposed to live our lives. You know, many of the, the behaviors like discrimination and prejudice and treating others differently because of the color of their skin, we learn those things. Those things are not in our hearts. That is not how God wants us to live. And so we need to take time to reflect on that higher law that God calls us to. And it's all about being rooted in that love of God. Uh, in this particular passage, certainly Jesus is calling you know, men and women when they enter into marriage to that higher way of being one with each other. But really that translates into all our relationships, being one with each other, rooted in that love of God. And there's always that higher way of living. So in this world that is oftentimes divided, in this world where we oftentimes separate ourselves from others, now let's take, take a moment to reflect on what's truly in our hearts, what God put into our hearts. And that is that way of love that calls us to live more deeply, to live more fully that love of Jesus.